Hello viewers. Well, I have been planning for a long span of time to start a video series on Core Java. Finally, I am starting. Today, I am going to put forward two programs and it will be in a very chronological order from the very fundamental to the advanced level. So those who wants to get the hands-on in regard to Core Java, this can be a very good alternative. Well, here today, I'm going to talk about something called command line argument because this is a topic which you will find in many uh, corporate level exams for those who are sitting for on online evaluation. Command line argument is often chosen by different companies. So what do we mean by that and how do we execute that? That's what I'm going to show you over here. I'm using the IDE NetBin and here I've written in one program command line argument. This is the package name my pack. The class name as of what I have chosen is CL underscore one. Here what I have made use of generally as a convention of Java goes that in, in the main function you write the string array name as ARGS. Well that's just a convention. You are free to choose whatever name you want and I have chosen over here by the name called input. Apart from that, there are some variables which I have taken. This is going to be my counter number of elements in the array that is the input and there is a string and there is an integer variable called sum. So what I am going to do first is that I am going to provide the input to my array which is my command line argument and it has to count how many elements are there because uh, prior to the execution if you don't tell how many elements are there then it will not be able to execute the loop. So over here I have counted how many elements are there in this array with the help of the length function and I have declared variable lane where I have initialized the value over here. And then I'm starting my counter right from the 0th position as we all know that all input is going to be start from the 0th block and it will go up to n minus 1. And it is going to pick up one element at a time. So this is my array int cnt is the, at the at over here is going to have a value called zero so the zero value will be picked up over here and that has to be converted into integer type and then we are going for the summation so then the count will be incremented from zero to one and then the value at the one position of the array index will be picked up will be converted to integer and then previous sum plus the new number will be added and that will become the new sum and eventually the process will go on till the last element has been taken off and then converts and then added up and then finally the total sum comes over here which we see you right over here so let me execute this program so for executing a command argument in the net bin what would you do right click at the project name so the project name is cla you go to the option called properties and here is a property dialog box comes Scroll down over here for the option called run and here is a run option. It asks you for the enter the argument. So you are free to provide the argument over here. I'm giving number something like 10 and then hit a space bar so that you differentiate between the 0th position and the 1th position. 20 space bar, 30 space bar, 40. So I have chosen over here four elements, 10, 20, 30, 40, and all are separated with a blank space. And now I will simply press the OK button. That's cool. Right now, I will click the Run button over here, and then it will evaluate, and it will give me the total as 100. So that's how the command line argument got invoked, and that's how we converted the value, and we showed that in the netbin IDE. Now the same program I'm going to do it using notepad and using the DOS command from. But in that case, how do you execute that? So let me show you that program now. So here is my DOS program. So let me minimize this one. Uh, let me open a folder over here. I have created one folder in my C drive as you can see over here. In my C drive, uh, I have created one folder. So let me show you. I have a folder called Java Practice. Java Practice. Inside Java Practice, I have a folder called CMD. 
So I have created one folder over here in my C drive, a folder called Java practice and there where I have a folder called CMD. And inside that I have kept the file called CLA underscore two. Let me show you the source code of this file. Simply I will right click on this. I can go to notepad and here it is. And here is a program which you can see right over here. Slight modification to the previous program. Still over here, I'm taking the input in the form of command line argument. I'm storing in the array called input. I'm calculating the length of the array right over here. And this time, I'm not using the previous for loop which I did over here, starting from the red block and it went to the length. I am not doing that. Rather, you can say I'm using a different approach where the length function is basically of no use right now. So what I'm doing? I'm using a concept called enhance for loop. So this is a method of writing an enhance for loop. And in this for loop, what you will be doing is that you will be taking the input from the uh, array, but you will be storing that input into a string variable like what I have done over here. Remember, this array is also a string array. So I have declared a string variable over here and then I've written a colon over here and then I've written the string array name. So from this string array name, one at a time, one value will be picked up and then it will be stored in this variable S. And after doing that, I'm going to go for typecasting and after that, the result gets to the variable I and then I can go for the same summation process. The only difference is that since it's an enhanced loop, I don't need to increment my counter so when the control will go to this array, automatically it will pick up from the previously it was zero position. This will be one position. So the number at the one position will be picked up and it will be stored in this variable. And then type casting will be done and then summation will be done. And again, it will move up. It will pick up the next element stored in this variable string type casting and the summation. So don't you find this is a bit more advanced level type of program uh, function? or the loop is a little bit more advanced and that's the reason it's called enhanced loop okay and after that i'm going to print the summation so let me run the program for command line argument and for that reason i have to open a dos prompt which i have have done over here so let me compile the program now so i will write java c i'm going to write java 3 here it is java c the name of the file is class cla underscore two dot java as i hit the enter you will find the dot class file getting created over here and it is the dot class file so now what i will be doing is that i can provide the input to my program and i'll be writing java name of the class file and whatever number you want to provide again do remember there is a separate over here as a blank space so i'm putting a space over here and i'm putting the number 33 so now I hit the enter and as I do that, you get to see the result. So this is my second alternative way of generating the command line. Uh, I mean to say the using of the command line argument in an array in the uh, Java. And I'm sure that this particular program will help you to understand that how to make use of this command line argument. So you can try out a few more examples. And surely in my next video, I will be talking few more new stuff until then have a nice time